night. Welcome to Caramel Latte Kiss. I'm George. Uh, this is my husband Dave. Normally he's paying attention, I promise. Um, I am on a mission to explore more of the UK this year, uh, and I thought you might like to come along for the adventure. Today uh, I am in Wombourne, which is a little village not far outside of Northampton. Um, it's rather cute. We've just had a massive lunch in this pub behind me, the Vine. Very full now, I had a burger that's the size of my head. Um, I apologise for traffic noise, I swear it was quiet when I started talking. Um, so we're now going to go um, just take a little walk around the village green and then uh, go back to the car and then we're going to go across to the branch, which is where you can find some cool canal stuff apparently. So I will see you in a minute. What a pretty little church. Lovely. We've only walked about two minutes up the road and found this gorgeous church. It actually really reminds me of the church in the, in the village that I grew up in. It's lovely. Uh, when we walked past earlier, there was uh, a wedding coming out with a horse and carriage. It's rather cute. Um, so we left them to it, but now that as we've finished lunch, they've gone, so we can come and have a little look. Gorgeous. How's this for your classic, idyllic English countryside village scene? So we've walked a little bit further along now. This is the old village green. Um, and there's a cricket game going on. I like the whites. I know absolutely nothing about cricket, I admit. I don't understand the rules at all. It confuses the hell out of me. But it does feel quite <laughs> classically English to spot this today. Nice. Now shifted slightly further out into Bratch. I said further, it's like two minutes in the car, uh, where there is some walkways along the canal and there's beautiful locks apparently and like an old school pumping house and stuff. Quite interesting. Uh, one wall itself is kind of cute. It's um, the original village, I think, is really old. It's in the Doomsday Book apparently and was a teeny tiny village up until about the 1950s when Wolverhampton Council decided to build shed loads of council estates. Um, most of them are now no longer council estates, they are just like privately owned homes, but it's now a much, much bigger village. Um, if you are heading into Wombourne, we found there was a quite a good sized, like completely free car park on the high street, right by Coffee 212. Um, there's a few little coffee shops, some little shops, a couple of nice pubs, so we just had a nice lunch and a little stroll around the village green. Um, yeah, and then there's lots of places to walk nearby. There's um, obviously you know, the towpaths up here by the canal, which is where we're heading. Um, and then there's also, um, I think, some yeah, little walkways through. There's like a nature reserve bit, and you can walk along uh, the brook that Warmborn gets its name from. So just to save you from making the same mistake we did, we overshot the car park the first time round. It's really badly signposted. Uh, there is a little bit of free parking on the opposite side of the road to the locks themselves. There is a brown tourist sign that says Bratch Locks that sends you into the car park. Um, there's not a lot of parking, so on busy days you might struggle. Apparently there is some more by the railway cafe. But yeah, it's, uh, it's badly signposted. It's just before the bridge, so keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, we're here. We found the canal. Um, it's really backlit, I don't know how much of it you can actually see. There you go. And there is a little canal boat just here. I love a canal boat. What a weird thing about wanting to live in one, even though I know I would be no good at it in real life, but it's not the idea of it. But yeah, we're going to go and have a look at the locks now and then see what else we can find. So here we are on the Bratch Canal. I think, which bit canal is this? Well, Bratch Locks. I think this is part of the Worcester bit. Sorry. I should Google and check. I'm, I will Google and confirm when I film That's next. Worcester. Staffshire and Worcester Canal, there you go. So yeah, right by the top lock. There's a series, I'll show you as we get further down, a series of locks, almost like a flight of stairs, um, that sort of gradually lower you down. Um, they are running water out of them, although there doesn't seem to be a boat, so I don't know what's going on. Um, we're gonna hang about and see what's happening, and hopefully maybe get some video of the locks in action for you. There we are. This is the old uh, lock keeper's cottage. That used to be a real thing. You need to have somebody here to help you, whereas now it's all run by the fabulous Canal and River Trust for volunteers, all this kind of stuff that's offered people to help if you're actually in a canal boat, but yeah. And then you can just see just in front of us, over here, what I assume is an old toll house. Very cute, let's go and have a look. Yeah, this is what I was saying about being like stairs. So this is where we just were, by the lockkeeper's cottage. And you've got kind of the top lock, and then you've got two more, a couple more gates on the way. One here, and then another gate there. And then as you get further along the canal, there's another lock a bit further along, which we're gonna to walk towards. Yeah, I think they are just, the gates aren't shut that well, which is why there's water running. <laughs> I was hoping it might mean that there was a boat coming. So I don't think I'm going to get to show you the locks actually in operation today, but nonetheless, there they are. How idyllic and peaceful is this? Apart from what I think is someone's lawnmower, <laughs> there is not a sound apart from birdsong. It's so quiet. Apart from the lawnmower. Oh, another canal boat up ahead. Cute. So, 
we walked on down to Bumble Hole Lock, which is very pretty, um, where it looks like the old Lock Keeper's Cottage is still occupied, um, or I assume not by a Lock Keeper because they don't exist now, but still, it's quite unusual to see them as private houses rather than either empty, which a lot of them are, or a lot of them are used by the Canal River Trust now as sort of spaces for the volunteers to use. Um, yeah, and while we were there, a boat came through the lock, which is cool. <laughs> I always think it's, I just find it interesting. As a bit of engineering, locks are quite clever. Maybe that makes me a nerd, I don't know, I think it's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, having said I didn't think I was going to be able to show you anything coming through the locks, we got, I got a little bit there. Um, I tried not to film too much because I don't, it, it's somebody, a, a canal boat is somebody's home. <laughs> I didn't want to be too intrusive, but. Um, we're walking back up to the long set of locks now because there seem to be a few boats coming up now. So I might be able to show you the multiple locks in action. So that was Bratch Lock. That was cute. I enjoyed mm, that. Yeah. Nice little walk, definitely. Yeah, I think uh, if you're coming out this way, Wombourne itself, um, despite the fact being on the list of, or like me, the prettiest villages in the Midlands, the village green is really cute, but we found there wasn't a lot to amuse us. However, it is well worth coming to check out the locks here. The locks themselves are really pretty. Um, they're obviously well manned um, during peak times by the Canal River Trust volunteers. Mm. So if you want to learn about the locks, they're brilliant. They're really always really happy to tell you how stuff works. There are a lot of people with their kids chatting about it. Um, and we've got to see a few boats coming through. Yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing boats using a lock. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first of our Midlands day trips. If you have enjoyed watching this video, don't give it, forget to give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you subscribe, you can come with us on more of our adventures exploring more of the UK. And we will see you very soon. Until then, guys, be good. See you next time. Bye.